Well, tonight we're sharing the voices of several neighbors in Richmond's Northside District. There have been three different shootings in the area so far this year. The most recent one just a few days ago. Community members spoke with our Elizabeth Holmes, saying they've worried about crime spiraling out of control for years now. Northside is just something special. <laughs> Lee Kelly and his family have lived near Hawthorne Avenue for six years. Located near Brook and Wilkinson Roads, it's a white picket fence kind of neighborhood on one side. It's like its own little enclave. But behind it, except for what's going on in the alley, is this. So far this year, there have been three shootings in an alleyway that back up to some Hawthorne Avenue homes. One as recent as April 30th. Linda Peachin lives right beside it. There'll be days when I call three times a day. Neighbors shared pictures and stories of alleged drug deals and suspected prostitution happening right behind their homes that they've witnessed firsthand, saying they've reached out to police and city leaders for the last two years, worried shootings would come next. The repeating aspect that we've heard is just that there's a shortage of police. They don't have enough uh, people on foot to be present all the time. But in the same breath, we're hearing call the police, call 911. So it starts to feel like we're taking away from resources that might be real health emergencies. But at the same time, our safety is a concern. The area is considered a crime hotspot that Richmond police are putting more resources toward. And there have been some improvements since neighbors made their initial reports. The alleyway has been paved. There's better lighting in the area. And there has been a police presence in the alleyway at least once. But residents say it's a temporary solution to a persistent problem. We've actually heard the statement of, well, it's just the culture. But if that's the culture, culture can change. And the neighborhood is speaking and saying that's not the culture that we want here. We reached out to Richmond Police as well as the neighbor's city council representative for a response to their claims. And we are still waiting to hear back. In Richmond, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.